good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog here on my youtube channel if you have never seen me before my name is daisy i post weekly on this channel so if you do like mum content realistic mum content or you just want to come along and follow my journey then please hit that subscribe button it would mean the absolute world to me to have you as part of the family but anyway today is tuesday morning i think it's the 20 first of november if you're thinking why is your face looking like you've just been beaten up like i have a black eye um that is because i fell asleep in my makeup last night at 8 p.m i have no idea why actually no that's a lie i do have i do have an idea why and i'll get into that in a second but i was just so tired i was led on my phone on the sofa after i put alfie to bed and i just ended up falling asleep and then charlie had to wake me up at quarter past 10 and be like come on let's go to bed now and i was like uh and apparently i i walked to the bed and fell asleep but i do not remember doing that at all so that's very interesting but yeah alfie is behind me just playing but i'm going to explain a little bit about what's been happening over the last week and the last few days so i actually ended up in hospital with alfie on saturday night which was not ideal especially on a weekend but i have explained this on tiktok but i know that some people on here don't follow me on tiktok so i'm just going to explain it on here in a little bit more detail maybe than i did on tiktok and just let you guys know what's been happening so over the last week me and alfie in particular have been quite run down we ended up with a bit of a cold i've still got it alfie still got it as well charlie ended up getting it but he's not too bad with it but me and alfie were quite unwell so last week i i don't know whether so i can't figure out where we got it from alfie's sister has also been ill so because of that we kind of theorized that maybe she had given alfie something just because on the saturday morning she was admitted to hospital almost admitted to hospital i don't think she ever actually ended up getting there uh, for the same sort of reason as alfie and then obviously on the saturday night alfie was admitted to hospital so it kind of seems likely but you know i'm not there's no blame or anything anywhere because that's what happens children children do just pick things up regardless of whether it was from his sister or not and obviously if they live together there's nothing you can do to prevent that so things happen and i completely understand that but i'm just trying to give you a little bit of context as to what happened where it came from so yeah last week before the saturday we were both um kind of unwell i felt very very run down my body doesn't deal with illnesses very well at all i was feeling very sick i had a bad throat my temperature was spiking and that's what happens to me when i catch anything it kind of molds into the exact same illness as any illness so literally any illness reacts the same in my body which is really frustrating and then i noticed alfie started to come down with it he had a running nose and all that and then we kind of just took it easy last week he didn't really seem like there was anything wrong with him i went to work on the saturday as normal nothing out of the ordinary i still wasn't feeling well but i just you know when i wasn't bed bound so i was fine and then i came home and alfie's dad sorry excuse me alfie's dad alfie's dad alfie's dad had dropped alfie off to me he was absolutely fine i put him to bed but i put him to bed at around 7 30 and then at around 11 o'clock i heard alfie wake up and he was crying and i was like you know it's normal to hear your baby crying in the night are you okay yeah so it's normal to hear your baby crying in the night or whatever i didn't really think much of that is that your what are you, what are you pointing at oh, come say hello uh, that's it you waving hello hello okay bye i went into his room to obviously calm him down and soothe him and he was coughing to the point like i'd never heard anything like you can hear him coughing now but it was nothing like that it was severe it was loud it sounded very painful it sounded like he couldn't breathe he was crying his eyes out he was dribbling everywhere he was gasping for breaths so i picked him up out of his cot and i was just going oh it's okay like patting his back calming him down took him into the bathroom in case he was going to be sick and i was just giving him that reassurance as a mother not panicking because if i panicked then i knew that he would panic more and then it got to the point where i thought okay he's not coming down here like something needs to be done so i checked his tummy and his chest and all i could see was his chest and stomach being sucked in dramatically now all i ever see everywhere is about 
if that is happening to your child then you need to get them some medical attention because it's serious and it can be quite dangerous so as soon as I saw that I went into panic mode and I couldn't help myself and I just went into the bedroom woke Charlie up Charlie was already sort of awake but I turned the light on and I was crying my eyes out and I was like can you please call an ambulance and he was like should I call 111 and I was like yeah or an ambulance either one I don't care just just get someone to help us and I was crying trying to calm Alfie down Charlie very kindly called 111 for us yeah, it wasn't a nice experience, was it? Do you want your book? <gasps> the night before Christmas. So Charlie was, uh, was Charlie was on the phone to the ambulance or one one one. I think they put them put him over to an ambulance, and then they said that they were going to come in twenty minutes. So they got here, and Alfie was still asleep, but he calmed down a little bit. They checked him over and the first thing they all said was it sounds like croup i had no idea really what croup was i'd heard of it but i had i didn't know what it what it, what it really was i'd never heard him have it I'd never heard any other child with croup so i didn't know basically they came over um they gave him a steroid tablet they got me to give him some neurofen which i managed to very sneakily get down his throat and then they said basically because of the sound of him and his chest and everything going in and it all just seeming a little bit alarming they said they'd prefer for us to go to the hospital i agreed they said it was going to be a long wait i thought yeah long wait probably five hours isn't it oh boy was i so wrong so we went to the hospital in the ambulance charlie stayed here i contacted alfie's dad his poor father i had to contact him and be like can you come to the hospital again because he'd already been to the hospital that morning so i was speaking to the people in the ambulance and they were saying you know it's very very common they deal with cases of croup constantly especially at night time the guy literally said he'd bet his mortgage that alfie had a croup so i was like okay <laughs> Cool. We got to the hospital and in the, in the ambulance they were saying like, oh, we, we've built a whole new child assessment unit, like this is a whole new bit, so you know it's, it's a nice it's a nice area for him to be in and i was like oh okay cool like I've, I've never been to the to the new like the new bit i've never been to this area it was pitch black so we got out of the ambulance went into the waiting room and i was just texting alfie's dad back and forth and he said oh what hospital are you at and i said southampton general because that is where I've always been. I've never been to any other hospital, ever, I don't think. Always been to Southampton General. And he said, okay, I'm here. They're saying they can't find him anywhere. Not on this... So he was texting me saying, we can't find him anywhere. He's not on the system. He hasn't been brought in. We don't understand. And he was texting me like, are you sure? Are you sure that this is the right hospital? And I was like, yeah, like, because there was no doubt in my mind. And I hadn't even thought of the possibility that I could be at a different hospital. So I hadn't even thought of the possibility that I could have been at a different, a completely different hospital. I just thought I was at Southampton. And then my friend started messaging me like, oh, Alfie's dad is uh, messaging me and asking where you are. Should I, you know, what should I do? And I said, oh, just screenshot my location maybe it might help him find the part of the hospital that i'm at and she said oh your location's not on so i went on my snapchat went to turn my location on and i just saw in big letters queen alexandra hospital which is in portsmouth and basically what it is is where i have moved since the last year since i've moved out which is crazy i can't believe it's been a year i now have a po postcode which I always say I live in between Portsmouth and Southampton because I do, but if I was to say anything, I'd have to say, well, I live more Portsmouth because I have a PO postcode. They obviously, I think they must just take you depending on your postcode because I think it's roughly the same sort of distance between Queen Alexandra and Southampton to get to either or. So they just took us to Queen Alexandra. So then I had to text Alfie's dad and be like, I'm so, so sorry, but we're at QA. And he literally just replied like, be 45 minutes. I was like, oh God. So then he came, um, he came there and we were seen by a nurse and everything. And then we had to wait 11 and a half hours. We got there at half 12 and we were seen at 11 o'clock is that 10 and a half hours or 11 and a half hours i don't know we were sitting at 11 o'clock the next morning so it was a very long wait neither me or alfie's dad 
I'd slept. We had spent so much money on Costa for like coffees and food. And it was just, it was, it was awful. But he got seen at 11 in the morning. They deemed him to be okay. They said that he had responded really well to the steroid that had been given to him the night before. And they basically just said, oh, are you saying hello? Who's that in the corner? Is it Alfie? Is it? Alfie, yeah, that's you. I'm just telling them about your hospital stay. Did you did you like your hospital stay? Did you have a good time? Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, he was seen. They said he'd responded really well to the steroid treatment and that he was um, able to go home. So we left that morning, came back, um, Ah, oh, you're giving me cuddle. There's nothing better than a cuddle from you, you know. So we left, came back, uh, Alfie's dad went home. Neither of us had slept at all, not once throughout the night. Alfie had slept a little bit on and off, but not too much. We got back and then my mum said that she would have Alfie for a couple of hours just so I could get some sort of sleep because I was worried that I was going to be up in the night with Alfie due to the fact that croup does seem to attack more at night time. It's not an actual illness, by the way. Um, let me just explain what it is. It's a symptom of an illness. So croup is basically where a child's airways get inflamed and they swell, which causes them to narrow and makes it sound like they're really struggling to breathe, but it causes like a barking cough. It looks like they're, they're struggling, but... What's up, baby? You've got a snotty face, don't you? So basically, croup looks a lot worse than it is, but it's not an actual illness in itself it's a symptom of an illness apparently they, it does like seem to become apparent if they are going to be prone to it it does become apparent around two Alfie is two in February so it kind of makes sense as to why he's suddenly got it now but it's just it like some kids get it some kids don't but yeah I'm just very very glad that it was nothing serious and that he is okay so we got back my mum took Alfie for a couple of hours and then I decided to get some sleep. I ended up sleeping for two hours, got up, and then Alfie got back, and I tried going to bed about nine o'clock, and I just couldn't switch off, probably because when I tell you I was loaded on caffeine in that hospital, I was loaded on caffeine. I'd had like three coffees and a Red Bull. My heart was beating a lot. It was scary. I've been filming for 16 minutes, so I don't know how long this first part of the video is gonna be, but I did just wanna clear that up and explain it, because it is, something big that's happened this week i was supposed to go on sunday so it's tuesday now i was supposed to go two days ago the day after the hospital me charlie and alfie were going to go out and buy a christmas tree and i was going to film that for you guys and it was going to be all nice but we've ended up having to just order a christmas tree instead let me just show you which one we've ordered so yeah we were supposed to go out and have like a really nice cute little family day but we've ended up just ordering it because we knew we weren't going to have time i was supposed to have Gym talks with Alfie this morning. We're obviously not going to go to that because he. I don't want him to give anything to anyone, so we're not going to that. Um, let me show you the truth. So we've ordered this pre-lit one by Danelle. It's six feet. I think it's is it Fra Fraser tree. Fraser fir tree. But yeah, we basically got it pre-lit because it's just an absolute hassle having to put lights in a tree, and we can't go for that. That was 149 pounds, which is very expensive for a Christmas tree. However, we will probably have this for quite a long time. Like I can imagine, hopefully years. And then we also got the wicker skirt that goes underneath. That was 20 quid. So it's gonna look really, really nice, but I think we're gonna have to move some bits around in the living room to make the tree fit. So obviously right now we have the chair here and then all of the electrics and some of Alfie's toys are behind there. And then we have the TV here. So what we're thinking of doing is putting the TV there and blocking this kind of part off and then putting the Christmas tree there. I think it's gonna work best, but I really don't know. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm gonna pop you guys on charge. It sounds so weird, but I'm gonna pop you guys on charge and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing today. I wanted to kind of, oh, Oh, hello, I've seen myself in. Nobody wants to see me up <laughs> that close with my face looking like this as well with all my makeup smudged down my face. Um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of go to, maybe go to Hobbycraft and pick up some bits for Alfie's Christmas Eve box. But I just don't know whether I can be bothered, but 
I feel like I want to do that. I feel like that'd be a nice thing to do. Maybe pop into Haskins and see my mum. I haven't even been to Haskins yet. That's like literally so criminal for me. So yeah, I may pop out and do that, but we'll have to see. I'm just gonna pop my camera on charge, get some bits done, and then we will see what the day brings. Look at the difference between my neck and my arms. I've just put some of the Be Bold instant airbrush spray on i need to order a new one actually i've almost run out of that one that's two bottles of almost used of that but that stuff is magic alfie has gone to sleep it's only 20 past 10 but he's been up since six so i had to put him to sleep i couldn't i couldn't leave him awake any longer because i don't really know what we're going to do today i feel like i really do need to get down to hobbycraft to do his christmas eve box and i understand that he's so so young like he's not even two yet so he's not going to understand what a christmas tea box is and if you watched my last video i it was the video of me talking about what i got alfie for christmas said in that that the box that i had that my mum had given me i was going to use as his christmas eve box that's what i thought anyway and then a couple of my friends were talking about how you can go down to Hobbycraft, pick up like a crate for like eight pound and then you can just decorate it yourself and it's a really nice activity they have it forever and i was like do you know what that sounds like a bit of me like i love a bit of artistic freedom artistic therapy so that's why i want to go to Hobbycraft and pick up one of those little crates because as well like he might not know what it is right now he might not know what a christmas eve box is right now but when he's older I'll be able to say like, oh, I made you this when you were two and you've had this since you were two. And I think that's a really, a really nice thing. So that's why I want to do that. But I'm gonna get ready for the day anyway, because I just feel like I need a little bit more life in me. Someone commented on my TikTok the other day saying my natural hair has gotten really long. I don't know. What do you think? I can't tell. So I've just got on and done some of my face, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys this powder puff. It's from the brand W7. I'm sure everyone knows what W7 is. Oh, but I literally bought it in Tesco. In Tesco, which, you know, wouldn't really be shopping for my makeup in Tesco, but I've needed a powder puff for ages and I've been using the Trigwells for so long, but mine is so messed up. And this is literally perfect. Like, look how pointy that is. That gets right, right in the corner. That is honestly unreal. This was £4.50. I mean, it's £4.50 for one. So I'm pretty sure I paid like a tenner maybe for my trig wells, but there was two in there. So it's around the same, I guess, for the trig wells or for this. But if you don't want to spend the money in one go, then you can probably find this in your local tesco because it's actually so good and honestly like if you look at the point on that and then look at the point on the trig well they're both so dirty but that is gonna get right into your corner so i just thought that i would put anyone on that because it's honestly unreal okay i finished my makeup alfie has just woke up from his nap so i'm gonna go and get him from his room <gasps> hello you hello you hi oh hi oh was that a lovely sleep yeah you want to come out oh come on in where are we gonna go should we go to Hobbycraft? no okay we're gonna go to Hobbycraft. <laughs> so i've just made our lunch alfie has got more of like a pinwheel style but basically i made like um homemade pizzas in wraps but i did mine actually like make it look like a pizza um it looks quite good it's a little bit burnt on the outside but then it's kind of soft in the middle so i think i'm just gonna eat it like that and just you know eat it like a steak really but i'm gonna need some barbecue sauce i really need to do some food shopping but i'm not gonna do it today i'm gonna do it tomorrow when Hopefully Alfie's with his dad. Oh no, there's no sauce. This is a tragedy. It's going to have to do. But yeah, bon apple teeth. So I've just gone on my business account to find out that my business account has been locked. Thank you for continuing to hold. All agents are still busy helping other customers. Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold and your call will be answered by the next available agent. So I'm currently on the phone to the bank trying to get them to unlock it but I don't understand I haven't given any information out to anyone so I don't understand why that's happened I'm not happy like that's such a joke thank you for continuing to hold 
going to hold. All agents are still busy helping other customers. Thank you for continuing to hold. Next available agent. Uh, okay, I won't ask you to do that again. Can you share with Mummy? Thank you. Thank you, darling. Hi, um, I just want to know why my account is locked. Okay, after like over maybe an hour and a half, that phone call got me absolutely nowhere. Literally nowhere. We are still at square one. I still cannot get into my bank. I don't know what the issue is. It's just an actual nightmare. Come on, let's put your shoes on. It's just such a nightmare, like... They couldn't get into it and then because of where I live I don't get any signal to get the verification messages so because I'm gonna pop to Hobbycraft anyway I think I think hopefully the verification message may be able to come through where I'll be going so hopefully I can just quickly sort that out in the car and get back in but it's so frustrating why they locked me out in the first place I don't know because they couldn't figure it out so I don't really understand that, but yeah, anyway. Oh, let's grab, let's go for this one. Yeah. The flat is a mess, but mummy doesn't care. So I'm just wearing this hat that I have no idea where it's from, but it's nice. This jumper is from Sheen. This is from Go Go Fashion on TikTok. Everyone's going nuts over them and they are the loveliest company. And they do the best quality coats and jackets. So I've got one of their long gilets on. These flares are from Primark, but when are Primark gonna cater for short girls? Because honestly, the flares are dragging across the floor, which is really annoying. Alfie's got an outfit. I'm pretty sure this is from TK Maxx. His dad bought it, which I absolutely love. And then his shoes are from next. He's currently still in the Lego box. Um, the flat is an absolute state. I'm not gonna lie. Do I care? No. Am I gonna leave it like this? Yes. Literally, all I want to do is go into Hobbycraft and just pick up a Christmas Eve box, Eve box for him. And that is literally all I want to do. But today just seems to be much more of a hassle than I intended for it to be. But we're gonna go anyway. Hopefully, I can get them before. Hobbycraft closes because I have no idea what time it closes and then yeah I'm going to try and keep doing the bank thing <sighs> when we leave. So we've just got two Hobbycraft and Haskins. I'm just going nuts at me in the back. Mum! Mum! Emma! Um, encounter some absolute W-A-N-K-E-R-S on the way here. Honestly some people should not have a driving licence. They are just so awful. Like, this person in front of me was so clearly drunk under the influence of something. Either that or they were dying of some sort of heart attack, which, you know, can't really blame them for. But my guess is that they were drunk or on their phone or under the influence of something. And it was so incredibly dangerous. They were swerving, bumping into curbs. One time they, like, swerved right in the middle of the other side of the road. Like, this is bad. Right. Should we put your jacket on? Should we put your jacket on? It's cold, isn't it? Yeah? You don't want it on. Okay, you don't have to put it on. You're gonna put this on for me? So you can walk around. Okay, I've got Alfie and his reins. I'm not gonna lie, these have never really worked for us. But I'm determined to make them work. This way. Look, there's a big, big coach. Look, this way. He's absolutely fascinated by the coach that's just come in. But I'm determined to make them work because they are such a good thing. It's just annoying that they don't really work for us. Come on, let's go see Nanny. But they are such a good thing because he can then run around and I don't have to run right after him. So I'm going to try and make them work. But yeah, just got to Haskins. My mum actually works here. So we're going to go say hi to her first. Or do we go to Hobby? I think we might go to Hobby. Let's go to Hobby Graph first, okay? Okay, this looks like the aisle that I'm looking for. So we come into Haskins to get a drink. I've got a Diet Coke in a glass bottle, which hits so different. Alfie's got an orange fruit shoot. You just look so cute, don't you? You're so cute. Yeah, I've left the basket that I bought with my mum. Um, so I could come in because I stupidly went there first, which I should have gone there afterwards. But yeah, we're going to have a look around Haskins. You're a good boy. 
Good boy putting that on the table. All he wants to do is play stairs. Don't you? Right, be careful then. I suppose this is one way of having fun. You gonna come down safely then? Come down safely. No, you wanna go up the next floor, great. Right, you gonna come back down? Want one? Oh. Oh. Can I have that one? Mm. So we've been back for a little while now. This is what I ended up getting from Hobbycraft. I think I did show you guys. Um, but basically I'm going to decorate it myself. I'm not going to decorate it tonight. I'm going to do a TikTok for it at some point in the week. But yeah, I think that's really nice. It cost me £10. So I'm going to decorate it and basically then I can keep it for when Alfie is older and he actually understands. And I'll be like, oh, look, you had this when you were two. But yeah, anyway, place is still in absolute state. I've barely even cleaned up the high chair from earlier. The kitchen is still safe. And that's just mum life, guys. There's nothing you can do about it. You've just got to accept it and understand that they don't care if the place is a tip just do your best and that is all that you can do really but anyway charlie's on his way home i'm literally gonna make us some dinner and then i think i'm gonna get an early night as always i'm loving my early nights at the moment i literally fell asleep at 8 p.m last night i think i told you guys that this morning actually well you've locked yourself out haven't you silly have you locked yourself out come in and close the door so yeah i think i think i'm just gonna end this vlog here guys i don't know how much footage i've got I've, i always say this every week i never know how much footage i've got i think i'm gonna end this vlog here guys thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of content make sure that you are subscribed to my channel like this video down below and comment if you wish to do so and with all that being said i will see you guys in next week's video are you gonna say bye